Galatians chapter 3 verse 26. It says, For you all are sons of God through Come on, tell me. You all are sons of God through faith in Christ Jesus. I told you, right? I used to, a few weeks back, say the church must have faith. But I corrected myself. I think everybody has faith. Believers and unbelievers. The difference is the church has faith in Christ. That was my correction. As a believer, I must have faith in God. Faith in Jesus Christ. Now that faith will make you all sons of God. Okay, next. For as many of you as were baptized with okay have put on Christ. Now good. Next. There is neither Jew nor Gentile or Greek nor slave nor free. There is neither male nor female for you are all one in okay. Okay. Now that's good. And if you are Christ's, then you are Abraham's seed and heirs according to the Okay. Good. Now come to chapter 4. Okay. Now I say, listen, this is a very nice story that Paul is writing. Okay. Now I say, Galatians chapter 4 verse 1. Now I say that the heir... Who is an heir? Can you tell me what is the meaning of an heir? Varasudu. And then, heir and endi? Varasudu. Now, an heir, as long as he is a child, does not differ at all from a slave, though he is a master of all. I will give you an example. For example, a rich man has a son. And the son needs to go to school. And the rich father has a Rolls Royce. Listen to me. Rich father has a Rolls Royce. Rich father has a son. He wants to send the son to school in the Rolls Royce. Will he send the son and give him the Rolls Royce and say, you take and go? What will he do? He will send a driver. That means, who is driving the car? A driver. What the Bible is trying to say is, as long as you are still a child, you don't get to enjoy the inheritance. The inheritance is yours. If your dad dies, that car is yours. The house is yours. The land is yours. All the inheritance is yours. But you don't get to enjoy the inheritance as long as you are a child. So now, now I say this, that an heir, as long as he is a child, does not differ at all from a slave, though he is a master of, what is the meaning of slave? Is a slave under contract? Is a slave under a bondage? Or is a slave in freedom? Tell me. Is a slave under bondage or freedom? Bondage. You are all employees, right? Most of you all. Can you do what you want to do, when you want to do, in the hours that you want to do? Because you are in the... Bondage, bondage is a little strong, but you sign a bond. You sign a contract. The contract is a fancy word for bondage only. Antena, nowadays you can't take your phones into the floor. Means what? Bondage only, no? Before you can take, now you can't take. Did the work change? No, work didn't change. The bond changed. So now you tell me, a slave is under? Come on guys, slave. A slave is under? If a child, if an heir is a child, and he is no different from the slave, he is also under? Good. Now, but this child is under the guardians and the stewards until the time appointed by the father. father will tell, I will give you phone until you are 18 years old or 13 or 15 or whatever the age set by the father. I will give you a bike when you are 18. 
वॉट एवर द मनी फॉर द बाइक इज योर्स बट द एंजॉयमेंट कम्स वेन यू आर नो लॉन्गर अर्थम यू आर अंडरस्टांग नौ नैक्स्ट ईवेन सो वी वे वी वर् चिलड्रेन वी वर् इन अंडर द एलिमेंट ऑफ द वर्ल्ड नैक्स्ट बट वेन द फुलने ऑफ द टाइम हेड कम God sent forth His Son, born for of a woman, born under the law, to redeem those who were under the law, that we might receive the adoption as. Amen. Amen. Go to the next before verse four. When the fullness of time has come, when now you tell me the fullness of time is now. Say, fullness of time is. Now. Today is the day I am no longer a child. I am going to grow up today. i am going to receive of my fullness okay now can you all come to galatians chapter 2 verse 20 i have been crucified with christ i have been crucified with christ it is no longer i who live but christ christ who lives in me and the life which i now live i live in the flesh i live by faith. underline i live by faith now what is the meaning of faith let us just come to chapter 2 verse 14 paul will tell when i saw that they were not straight forward about the truth of the gospel galatians is talking about gospel what is galatians talking about gospel. okay guys galatians is talking about gospel. when paul saw that they were not straight forward about the truth underline straight forward about the truth he saw that they you know what is the meaning of they were not straight forward about the truth it means they were no longer living according to faith that's why paul will in the down he'll say they were not straight forward by the truth but i did not live like that i'm just paraphrasing i am straight forward with the truth i don't live like them that is why i live by faith come on you can complete my sentences they are not straight forward with the truth because they don't believe in faith but i am not like them and i live in faith what is faith i will show you come come to chapter 3 verse 6 chapter 3 verse 6 just as abraham believed god chapter 3 verse 6 galatians chapter 3 are we there ah just as abraham believed god it was accounted to him for righteousness now faith ante believing tell me faith means believing faith means what should you believe now question what should we believe believe in god correct what should we believe in press paul is saying i live by faith here it is saying abraham believed god what did abraham believe he believed god but what did he believe god believed his what gospel. gospel now that is what he is saying in chapter 3 verse 1 come to chapter 3 verse 1 oh you foolish galatians who has bewitched you meaning who has cheated you that you don't obey the truth who has cheated you the thing the way of a christian is the life of faith ante the way of a christian is a life of faith the top, the heading of my sermon today the name of my sermon today is prosperity is the gospel you know how many people i believe in the prosperity gospel i will show you and you have the bible in front of you and you read and by the end of the sermon you take a decision for yourself but this is what i believe So Abraham believed God chapter 3 verse 
and it was accounted to him as righteousness. Accounted, I told you. Believing is a work that you should do. Believing is a work that you must do. For this work, God will give you a reward. And that reward will be credited to you. You are working in your office and the salary is credited to you. You believe in God and the Lord will account it to you. This is called impution. Tell me. Meaning God will infuse inside of you. Injection. Okay. He will inject inside of you. What did Abraham believe? Therefore know that only those who are of faith are the sons of Abraham. Okay. Good. The scripture foreseeing that God would justify the Gentiles by faith. Listen to me carefully. Niharika said, living by faith is believing. Believing God. Yes, believing what? The gospel. Now here you see, it is showing us what is the gospel. Look at me. Look at the Bible. And the scripture foreseeing that God would justify the Gentiles by faith. Preached the gospel to Abraham. What is the gospel that Abraham was preached? Look at me. What is the gospel that was preached to Abraham? Abraham, in you all the nations will be? Ante, what is the gospel? Gospel is a? You understand what I am trying to say? Come on, say it guys. Gospel is a? So, prosperity gospel is? It's true. God preached the gospel to Abraham. God preached the gospel to Abraham. And to Abraham, he said, Abraham, in you, all the nations will be? Meaning, the gospel is a blessing. Tell me, the gospel is a? The gospel preacher. Now you tell me what is a blessing? Correct. Bo <laughs> gospel is blessing. Blessing is excellent. Great. But how can we define blessing? How can we define a blessing? Growth. Great. Prosperity. Great. What else? I will show you how we can define prosperity and blessing. Come to chapter 2, chapter 2, verse 4, chapter 2, verse 4. And this occurred because of false brethren secretly brought in who came in by stealth to spy out our liberty that we have in Jesus Christ. That they might bring us into. There will be some people in the church. Who will come secretly. So they can. So they can spy on you and your life. I will tell you something. Okay. When you have no money. You can tell who your real friends are. When you have a lot of money. You can tell who you should be friends with. Because. When people see your liberty, when people see your growth, when people see your prosperity, they will be jealous of you. Especially when people, let's say, in India, caste system is huge. If they see somebody who they believe are lower than them, achieving greater things, they are jealous. If they see you smile and happy and they are not smiling and happy, they are jealous. Why do people do witchcraft? Because they hate you. Hate comes from jealousy. So you know what they will start doing? They will start sending spies into your life. They will send one person and they will say, how is Sharat able to drive a good car? He does not have a full time job. 
I'm telling you truths, okay? He does not have anybody. What is Sharad doing to earn this money? So they'll come into my life to see what I am trying to do. They, are they trying to do it because they care for me? No. They'll do it because they think I don't deserve to be doing what I'm doing. With you also same. If you increase, people will come into your life. So they want to look into your life because they believe that they, you don't deserve this. They believe that you don't deserve. So they will spy and they will try to find one mistake. And when they do find that mistake, if at all there is, because we are men, we do some mistake here and there. By mistake, some word will, they will take one photo, put it out of context. You know what I am trying to say? Okay, the person who is looking for a fault, he will definitely find the fault. That is why the Lord will tell to Martha, 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 you are missing the bigger picture. So, the person will look at a fault and once he finds a fault, he will like, see, I told you he did not deserve to be wealthy. I told you he did not deserve to be blessed. So, he will try to bring you down into bondage. Paul, same thing happened. Galatians chapter 2 verse 4. This occurred because false brethren, they secretly brought in and this also happens on Instagram. I am preaching such amazing faith-filled words. You will go, one fellow will come on Instagram and say, prosperity preachers, be aware of them. Don't go to their church. I am telling you, they will take you into bondage. I am, I am telling you, right, I am a prosperity preacher, but I don't want your money. I want the Holy Spirit. Because my supply does not come from man. My supply comes from, I am not interested in money. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and all these things will be. And that is the formula I am trying to preach to you. I preach like I am a billionaire. Am I? I am not. Okay? I am not. But my faith is there. Paul is saying all of this now. Verse 5. I want this to be your mantra. Mantra, ante, don't misunderstand me. I want this to be your philosophy. To whom we did not yield to submission even for one hour. Today, it is not one hour. It is 15 seconds of reels. To whom we did not yield for one hour that the truth of the gospel might continue with you. What is the truth of the gospel? That the nations through you might be blessed. Amen. The truth of the gospel end and day, you will be blessed. And the people through you will be, that is the gospel. Paul is saying, I did not yield to all of these people, even for an hour, that the truth of the gospel might continue. Next. But for those, but from those who seemed to be something, whatever they are, it makes no difference to me. I am telling you, right? We must live in kindness. We must live in love. We must give love. We must respect people. But there are some false brethren who will try to take you into bondage. They don't make any difference to you. For those who seemed to be something, added nothing to me. The people who want to take you into bondage, no, they will add no value to you. Instead, they will take what you have. They will take what you have. So, Abraham believed in God. That's why when the, the king from Sodom came, Abraham said, I don't want a single rupee from you. In fact, I don't even want a shoelace from you. Lest tomorrow you will tell me that you have made me rich. No. Abraham says, my faith is in God. Tell me, my faith is in God. My faith is in God. Where is your faith? In God. Now, come next. Abraham believed God and it was accounted to him as righteousness. So then, those who are of faith are blessed believing with, blessed with believing Abraham. See, the blessing is the gospel. Gospel means a blessing. So those who are of faith, now you tell me question. Are you of faith? Tell me, are you, Niharika, are you of faith? Sri Lata, right? Are you of faith? Tell me, are you of faith? Yes. yes. So, those who are of faith are blessed with meaning 
you are blessed with believing Abraham. Like how Abraham was blessed, you are. And this is the gospel that was preached to Abraham. That in you, all the nations will be blessed. I want to show you a verse. Come to Genesis chapter 13, I think, if I am not wrong. Genesis chapter 13, verse 17. Come. Genesis chapter 13, verse 17. It says, get up, Abraham. Stand up. Arise. Walk in the land through its length and its width. For I give it to if Abraham got it, who got it? If Abraham got it, did you get it? Yes. That means did our church get it? Yes. Did we get our church office? Yes. Let's go walk in some offices and say, arise, this church office is mine. Amen. Amen. So gospel is the blessing. Gospel is the blessing. Prosperity is the gospel. Come to chapter 3, verse 14. The blessing of Abraham might come upon the Gentiles in Christ Jesus that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. This promise of the Spirit through faith is also gospel only. Okay? So, another word for the gospel is the promise. Another word for the gospel is spirit. I will show that in more detail in the next few verses. Come to chapter 3 verse 18. Chapter 3 verse 18. For if the inheritance is of the law, it is no longer of the promise, but God gave it to Abraham by So, the God, the you, I showed you here. I showed you here in verse 8. It was preached, the gospel was preached to Abraham beforehand. Saying you will be blessed. Here it is saying in verse 18, God gave it to Abraham by promise. So the preaching of the gospel and the giving of the promise is the same thing. Okay. So gospel is also a promise. Gospel is also a blessing. So when Niharika said you must have faith in the gospel, you must have faith in the promise. You must have faith in the blessing. You must have faith in the word of God. Now, I come to the most important part of today. I come to the most important part of right now. Galatians chapter 3 verse 2. Galatians chapter 3 verse 2. I ask you this one thing, only this one thing I want to learn from you. Did you receive the spirit by the works of the law or by the hearing of the faith? Once read chapter 14, verse 14, 314. Come to 314. The blessing of Abraham might come upon the Gentiles in Christ that we might receive the promise of the. What is the promise here? In this verse, what is the promise? In this verse, what is the promise? Promise of? Here, the promise is the spirit. Okay. In verse, I showed you in Genesis chapter 13, there the promise is land. I showed you, right? Abraham, I gave you the land. But, but, I am telling you, the fundamental blessing of a Christian, the moment and the second you have faith, the fundamental blessing of a Christian, the moment and the second you have faith, is the spirit. So, when, when God said to Abraham some promise. When God preached the gospel to Abraham, I showed you, right? The gospel was preached to Abraham. The gospel of God that was preached to Abraham was a gospel of blessing. But when Abraham believed in God, he received righteousness. He received land. He received, <coughs> above it all, he received the spirit. Amen? Amen. Fundamental is the spirit. God will give you the spirit. Can Ratnakar, you put this in amplified translation, not amplified classic. Put this in amplified, same verse 14. The verse 14 is the, is the key to my sermon today. He says, the blessing of Abraham might come upon the Gentiles in Christ Jesus that we might receive the promise of the spirit through faith. If you receive the spirit, you received the land. If you received the spirit, you received the money. 
If you received the spirit, you received the job. If you received the spirit, you received the healing. If you received the spirit, you received your miracle. I will show it to you. Put. Amazing. Yeah. Did you receive the spirit as a result of obeying the law? Ah. No, 14. Are you reading 14? For, th read 14 in Amplified. In order, in order, that is Christ Jesus. In order that in Christ Jesus, the blessing of Abraham might also come to Gentiles. Uh, that the blessing of Abraham might come to Gentiles. So that, so that we, would all we would all receive. The promise of the we would all receive the realization is not there. Yeah. In the bracket. Is there? Okay, the, that means there is an organ inside of you all that is empty. When you receive the promise, that means, you know what is receiving? Meaning realizing. You must realize that you are blessed. I don't know if you are understanding. You must realize that the quality of your life deserves more. You must realize that you should not worry about mileage. You must realize that even if they do 200 rupees petrol, you can fill your full tank. You can, you must come to the realization. You must come to the realization when you receive the Holy Spirit. The key is realize. The devil wants to shut your eyes of this realization. Realization means nothing but revelation, okay? So that we would all receive the realization of the promise of the Holy Spirit through faith. Ante, you must right now from today realize that you are worth greater. Your mind should break out of a shell where you think I cannot own that house. I am trying to break it down for you. Abraham, he fought with his nephew Lot. And when he fought, they both divided. Abraham told to Lot, Lot, you look and you take whatever land you want. You know what Lot did? He stood on the mountain and he looked north, south, east, west and he took the greenest land. Ante Abraham ki poina together. Abraham had to take the dry land. After Lot went, the Lord said to Abraham, Abraham, you look north, south, east, west. Anta nide entered. Ante lotu tiskuna di kora nide. You understand? Meaning, Abraham then realized that what is not mine also is mine. That is why I am telling you, I preach like a billionaire because it is not mine yet. But what is not mine is mine. Mik Ardama Watla. Ardama Tuna. Job Rale the Kan Jobuna. Undi. Job Rala Inka. Kan Job Nide. Ardavenda. Illu Kateva. Katla. Kan Illuna. Ekarundi. Realization Londi. So now. Come to Galatians chapter 3 verse 2. This I want to learn from you. Did you receive the spirit? See, he is not asking, did you receive the promise? No. He is asking the foundation. Did you receive the spirit? The gospel is the blessing, yes. The gospel is the promise, yes. But at the fundamental level, at the grassroots level, the gospel is the spirit. So Paul will ask, did you receive the spirit by the works of the law or by the hearing of faith? How did you receive the spirit? By hearing of faith. So first is receiving the spirit. Next, verse 4, having begun, verse, no, next, verse, th uh, verse 3, come to verse 3. Having begun in faith, in spirit, are you now being made perfect by the flesh? The first question is, did you receive the spirit? Second question is, did you begin in the spirit? 
having begun in the spirit are you being made perfect in the flesh so the first key for christians is to receive the spirit the second key is to begin in the spirit third come to verse 5 therefore he who supplies the spirit to you receiving the spirit beginning in the spirit supplying of the spirit he who supplies the spirit to you and works miracles among you where there is a supply there is a ardhamavutunna where you want a blessing there must be the supply of the spirit ante naaku i want 15 lakhs right now how do i get it should i ask every tom dick and harry money i just ask god supply me the spirit and the spirit will work the miracle amen the blessing the gospel was preached to abraham abraham this is your gospel niharika this is your gospel you are absolutely ridiculously blessed arise walk in all of the land the length and its breadth for all of it i have given to you you have to come to realize that all of it is yours but you know how that is yours the bank will not give you a check no you know how it is yours your father will not give you the house no you know how it is yours the spirit will come upon you 